Good day, Grade 1. Today, we're going to have a lesson that will surely be very interesting for you. And the title of our lesson is, Separating Objects into Equal Quantities Up to 50. Now, let's start with our Let's Talk. So, Kelly would like to arrange the 18 roses she picked from their garden equally in the six flower pots her sister gave her. How many flowers will she put in each pot? Now these are the 18 flowers she picked from their garden. These are the 18 flowers. And these are the six pots her sister gave. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kelly took note of the number of the flowers and grouped them this way. So, she grouped three flowers first, then another three, then another three, another three, another three, and another three. There you go. We still have the 18 flowers, but... They are already grouped into six groups with three flowers in each group. Therefore, since she has six pots, she will put three flowers in each pot, arranging all the 18 flowers equally. So, the three flowers will go to the first pot, another three will go to the second pot, another three will go to the third pot, Another three will go to the fourth pot, another three will go to the fifth pot, and of course, another three will go to the sixth pot. Now, we may describe the flowers as six groups of three flowers. And the total is, of course, 18. There you go. Now, let's have another example. Last week, the grade 1D was able to collect 35 plastic bottles in 5 days to donate to SSI's charity organization, Tahanang Walang Hagdanan. If they collected the same number of bottles each day, how many water bottles did they collect each day? Please take note of the number of days that they were able to collect the bottles. So, we have here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So there are five days, and we may look at them as five groups as well. Now for us to know how many they collected each day, let us put one bottle at a time in each day until all 35 bottles are grouped. So we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 on Monday. And we still have the same number of bottles collected on Tuesday. The same goes with Wednesday. We still have the seven bottles here. The same goes also with Thursday. We still have the seven bottles. And we also have the same number of bottles on Friday. There you go. So there were seven bottles each day. Now, since they collected 35 bottles in 5 days, and in each day they collected the same number of bottles, then we have 5 groups of 7. And the total number of bottles is 5 groups of 7 is, of course, 35. There you go. Good job, my dear grade 1. Now you already know how to separate groups of objects into equal quantities. Good job!